Hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. We are back with another PayPal request. This one is for Eric Ballin and it is another Keith Moon pick. So Eric, I do need to thank you and also Chris Block for your support of the channel and for inspiring me to actually do a dedicated Keith Moon The Who week. Your comment here. It's time for some more Keith Moon. Only this time you get to see him in action. Here is a straight up blues rock power jam from The Who circa 1970 with some exemplary moon drumming. Eric, thank you so much for the pick. Let's get straight into it. Nothing in the world these days Wow I said a young man Ain't got nothing in the world these days You know, in the old days, when a young man was a strong man, all the people they stepped back oh, when a young man walked by. <laughs> I completely missed the uh, button ending on that trash can ending there. Guys, remember, as always, original video link in the description of each video. Please do go along, check out the original video. Without me talking all over it, this is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And getting to see this from different angles. Wow. Wow, this is a bit of a game changer for me. The tossing sticks, the confidence, the difference in the appearance, like the swagger compared to the previous video. Love both videos, but just seeing that evolution and showmanship and presence behind the kit. Wow. We've basically got a trash can ending for each pause. And the song. I mean, try transcribing this note for note. Good luck. This is just pure music, pure rock and roll. But you know, nowadays, it's the old man who's got all the money. And a young man ain't got nothing in the world these days. Okay, that's a really good shot there. Sorry to stop it again, but really good shot. And the, one of the crucial and unusual aspects of Keith Moon's drumming is to having no hi-hat. So he has actually got a crash in the hi-hat position. So that's interesting for me that he's actually playing crossed over, but with no hi-hats. I mean, obviously his left foot's on a kick drum pedal, so he is playing on a pedal. But I would have thought not having your hi-hats on the left opens up being able to easily play right-handed and play open. 
Really interesting that he still crossed over. In whistle on the base. Wow. Wow. Killer. This is a really fuzzy, messy section for me. Now, I don't say messy in the bad way. <laughs> it can easily get taken out of context. I mean messy and this is rock. This is rock music. Rock to me should be messy. And this is a big, beautiful mess. I don't mean the whole song so far. I mean this section, this just the solos and you get a lot of personality. End whistle and bass is very controlled and observing what's going on. Moon's just off his head and Townsend on guitar. Also Showman, the big windmill. And yeah, this is this is great stuff. Catching that vocal hit on the crash. Hey! And catches it with the cymbal. Not unlike James Brown. I think this might be the first time I've seen or heard the Who bringing the dynamics down. So Keith Moon, this this uh, crazy drummer who's always off bashing and kicking over drums and going nuts. It's also got dynamics. Interesting grip. Wow, listen to what is going on in this section. Who's holding this down? Ent Whistle is all over the place. He's soloing. We've got a guitar solo happening. We've kind of got a drum solo happening. This is really, really out there. This is verging on... I don't want to say jazz. This is... Much like I've called uh, Black Sabbath potentially a, a jazz group with a distortion guitar, this is this is pretty much jazz. Remember, jazz not being ting, ting to ting, ting to ting, but jazz being improv. One of the defining characteristics of jazz is improv. We got a heap. I don't. I don't think these guys know any way but to Im improvise. Listen to this. Windmill. 
that I've said this on a few videos and uh, I hope this is coming through sincerely that felt like a treat <laughs> it felt like a real treat to watch like getting to watch a great movie I'm a big fan of old 60s 70s cinema and you know getting to sit down with no distractions and watch a Hitchcock film it's like, that's a treat for me and you know you, you get to see the artistry and the magic of a true visionary original artist and I feel like that's what I'm seeing here I said on the previous video that he's got an ability that we all want to be inside the music it's a weird term I know it's probably the only way I can describe you, you, you know it when you hear it and you know it when you see it some people have an ability to get inside the music and it's almost like they're invisible in the track and they're just you could think of it like they're doing everything you want and nothing you don't want it's just it's just perfect art and that was controlled chaos <laughs> there was a tempo and that's about it there wasn't much holding it together <laughs> good luck to the singer on that um feels almost like with great rock and great heavy rock groups traditionally with that fiery aspect of a bit of conflict within the band a bit of potentially a bit of conflict of egos conflict of ideas conflict of styles often stemming from a lot of the time originals bands or traditionally at least or rock stars not having like a formal music training and, eff and effectively making things up as they go and again this might sound hoity-toity coming from someone who went to jazz school I don't mean it like that I'm, I mean it in a good way I, I feel like you need that lightning in a bottle to be authentic rock I also think to some degree you probably need to walk the walk and sort of be authentic rock as opposed to pretending we can all see authenticity I'm not saying you need to go out and, and do <laughs> illegal substances and and destroy hotel rooms to be a, a legit good rock player i'm just saying there, there's some level of authenticity where the approach is rock and i can hear it this is a mess it's almost sounds to me like it's fallen apart that was 1970s so they were six years into their career so i'm assuming they were pretty established i don't know how many albums deep they were by that point but obviously they, they were pretty established in their style i'm surprised at how much improv was going on there i'm surprised at how free that was other than the hits which seem to be signified by uh townsend's you know guitar bam that's the button on the hit it's hard to sort of spot or see the communication on on how they're reaching those points and how they're kicking off again and starting and stopping and yeah that was a heavy one that was really really cool i think of all the videos i've featured on the channel so far i think this one here is the is the is the one that probably captures most of what i think of when i hear about the who and people's talking about keith moon and his style of drumming i feel like this clip so far has most captured that chaos i was gonna say controlled chaos but i don't think it is controlled i think it is it is just chaos at this point again on the previous one super interesting to compare a younger keith moon obviously 1964 1965 i think that video was to 1970 a lot more assured a lot more tricks i lost count of how many times he spun the sticks and he's pointing at people the real showmanship aspect coming out while still playing his butt off and 
Also really interesting to note all the mouthing, like which also indicates how inside the music and how into the seat he is. And it's almost like he's channeling all that hyperactivity and all this, all of these thoughts that are probably going through his head into the drums and into the music, really, really channeling it. And he's mouthing words, he's looking at people and he is like right there, man, like right in the zone. And this is, this is live music performance art. And I really, really dug that one. Eric Ballin, thank you so much for the pick. Guys, please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out. How you're enjoying the Who Keith Moon week so far, please again, hit me in the comments. If you have a direct reaction request like this one, the only way I can guarantee a request at this point is via the PayPal link. All the other requests, I just do my best. If you're looking for other ways to potentially support this channel to keep the mics and the lights on over here, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month and you get access to all the blocked videos. Remember you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Dromeo. They've got a bunch of Keith Moon, The Who content over there, analysis, breakdowns of Keith's drumming and a whole bunch of transcriptions, note for note. And you can do your best to keep up with Keith Moon. Just go grab those, you can either download them in PDF form or you can use the player to slow down and potentially loop sections. It's pretty good stuff, go and check it out. Guys, until the next video, keep chopping wood, stay safe out there, don't be mean to any goldfish and I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.